welcome everyone so yes today we are going to solve a very nice root problem okay a lot of people think that the answer for this one is supposed to be 10 but that is incorrect now why people think like that is basically see they put everything under one root which is minus 25 into minus 4 okay and according to our understanding minus into minus gets you plus and 25 into 4 gets you 100 so it will be positive 100 and root of a positive number is always positive. Okay. So, here a lot of people make the mistake and think that the answer is 10. Okay. Now, please understand here some people think it is plus minus 10. No. When you are finding the root of a positive number, the answer will always, always be just positive 10. Okay. Now, so in which case, where, we, which case you will lead the answer as positive or negative 10 so see if your question had a variable where we had something like x square equals to 100 then x value will be positive or negative 10 because we have a variable being associated and value of variable can keep changing that is the only situation when you can get a plus or minus 10 otherwise root of a positive value will always get you a positive value okay now this is basic misunderstanding which a lot of people have in case of roots. Now let's understand how do you do these kind of sums. So please understand whenever you have a root situation okay with a negative number you can separate the 25 as it is and multiply it with a negative 1 okay. Similarly it will be for 4 as well so it will be 4 into negative root of negative 1 okay so now what happens over here is root of 25 again it is a positive value so it will get you positive 5 and here root of positive 4 will get you just positive 2 now what happens to root of negative 1 please understand in mathematics root negative 1 is taken as an imaginary value which is i so here this will be taken as i into i so now what you have is 5 into 2 that gets you 10 into i into i gets you i square. So now see understand root negative 1 value is i. So what will be i square? Squaring both sides. So i square will be negative 1. Right? So now you can say value is 10 into minus 1. So final answer for this one is just negative 10. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.